Why medicine? This annoying question you know is going to come up. My name is Farhad and I'm a junior doctor working in London. This year I've been examining MMIs at Imperial. Let's talk about some of the motivation questions that can come up during MMIs and how to answer them well. Before we talk about this though, you should definitely go check out my other video where I talk about the mark scheme. I'll leave the link in the description below. This question will probably get phrased along the lines of why do you want to study medicine and why do you want to be a doctor? Let's talk about the CAMP framework. Now I always advocate using frameworks loosely. They're more of a safety net. You don't have to use them in that particular order and they're great to fall back on in case you blank. Now if you have a particular life-changing circumstance that's really made you want to do medicine or if COVID has personally impacted you, start with that. If you don't, that's fine. Use an opening statement that conveys the passion of why you genuinely want to do medicine. You want to get across that you understand that medicine is the application of scientific knowledge by a doctor to a specific person. Notice how I said person rather than case. It's this combination and leadership role that actually separates it from other healthcare professionals. To demonstrate this, use an example that you've seen during your work experience. Keep this brief and always circle back to the question that's being asked. In this case, that's why medicine. Use your examples to talk about what skills were on show, whether that's empathy, teamwork, resilience, and maybe that you enjoyed the variety medicine can offer. If you're stuck about what kind of examples to use, think about how a doctor communicated with a child, or maybe how they communicated with an adult. Maybe use for a dialogue that results in shared decision making. You can talk about the different types of cases that you've seen and how it's different treating someone with an acute illness or someone who's suffering with a chronic one, or just how a different communication style can actually ease a patient's anxiety. Find some personal examples here that you can reflect on. That's what's going to make you stand out, your own deep reflection. Personal reasons. Talk about your extracurricular activities that go beyond academia that would support your reasons for applying to medicine. This can be sports, voluntary, charity work. It's all about selling the transferable skills from these activities and how they can relate to you being a good medical student. One way of really shining here would be to incorporate your learning from what you saw during work experience and actually applying it to some of your own extracurricular work. It's a really good way of reflecting on transferable skills. The other question you might get asked is why do you want to come to this particular university? Let's loosely go through the camp structure again. Start off with an introductory statement about how that university, in this case Imperial, particularly hits home for you. It could be some of the research that they've produced during COVID times, or it could be how they adapted with remote exams. Find something about the institution that really appeals to you. This question is basically seeing if you actually spent some time Googling the university you've applied to. Here, what the examiners are trying to see is you know what the course structure is about, how long it is, whether integration is compulsory or not, what the university offers, is it a spiral curriculum, what teaching styles they use, how early is the clinical exposure that you get, has the curriculum recently been changed and actually knowing all this is completely pointless unless you can relate this to yourself that's how you score well medicine is meant to take broad personality types with a variety of interests it's another story that everyone leaves medical school as a robot but knowing about the societies and clubs that are available at that university and how you are interested in them is actually something really important and you should know about examiners are looking to see if you can contribute beyond your academic studies towards the university and if you're able to achieve a happy work-life balance most universities imperial included offer this station to be marked up by current medical students so you should definitely reach out to them to see what societies might be available to you and what you might enjoy. To score well, you need to show an awareness of non-academic opportunities, as well as being enthusiastic about trying new things. You should then talk about how these opportunities have transferable skills to being a good medical student. Here are some things that candidates who scored well did. The candidates who did well at this station spoke about something that really interested them. For example, one candidate spoke about the research and innovation that Imperial had done using artificial intelligence and putting that into stethoscopes. Others spoke about their passion for sports and how previous medics at Imperial went on to represent their sport both nationally and internationally and why that was a key reason for them applying and that tying in with their own sporting achievements. Imperial has recently changed their curriculum so that first year students have earlier access to clinical opportunities although other universities have been doing this for some time. Another thing that Imperial offers is intercalation. They actually offer a variety of courses that's much broader than other universities I've seen. Another candidate spoke about their passion for debating and how Imperial could help them improve their skills further. The game to play here is to use your personalities and hobbies, find extracurricular activities that you'll enjoy and talk about how those societies will complement and develop your skills into being an even better medical student. Hope that's given you some ideas. Good luck.